if you're looking for a town that's a far cry from those conventional cosmopolitan ones you visited with busting strangers and flashy billboards and honking cars, you're listening to the right podcast. Have you ever heard of Golf Fort? Well, this podcast isn't called Secret Places for Nothing. But if you're caught unawares by this obscure name of a town, you have been missing out. Fear not, because we invite you to a virtual listen of Golf Fort before we send you packing. Located in the southwestern province of Sri Lanka, Gaul holds a special and rather cartoonish town on its land. The entrance to the fort is from the ancient archway that has witnessed many tourists and locals passing, and while the bumpy ride and the tuk-tuk reluctantly provided by the rocky roads may feel uneasy, you don't need to worry because the scene overpowers the ride. Dilapidated warm white houses stand amiably as you make your way through Gaul's compact street. They bear jewelry shops inside with magnificent cod pearls that intrigue the teens and fancy trinkets to delight kids and are a headache to parents. The meticulous carvings of the ancient architecture are wonderful details to catch and they contrast highly with the simple houses the locals reside in. Instead of the hurry burry of the fast moving vehicles and commuters in urban cities, Golf Road has neatly parked bikes and scarcely any cars. Well, you can't have much what with the narrow cobble-like roads. Apart from the old perception the fort offers, as you delve deeper into its habitat, you're invited to the contemporary part of Gaul. Here, we have pleasant-looking cafes and restaurants and houses that look like hotels. We all do want to feel at home, don't we? But, all this talk about Gaul fort, where is this masterpiece built by the Dutch and that saved lives during the tsunami? Towards the far end lies an open area where you can finally see the mass of rocks and bricks that hide the calm sea. As you climb the steps of this miniature mountain, you can see what a deep rich red the ample sand is and the brittle grass that make their way over the weeds. A slight turn of the head and you'd see the colossal lighthouse which stands proudly. Make your way through the dodgy rocks and you can finally feel the white sand on your exposed feet. The perfect place to stand and get the best of both worlds is in front of the tide where it tickles your legs and where you can taste the salty water. And, if you inhale a bit further, you can smell the wafting scent of roasted peanuts, perhaps from a keen vendor. <laughs>